Hello everyone, and welcome to On The Spot STEM. Today, we will be doing problem number 23 from the 2018 10B slash problem number 19 from the 2018 12B. The problem reads, how many ordered pairs AB of positive integers satisfy the equation A times B plus 63 is equal to 20 times the LCM of A and B plus 12 times the GCD of A and B, where GCD AB denotes the greatest common divisor of A and B, and LCM AB denotes their least common multiple. So since we only have one equation in this problem, and we have essentially three different types of expressions, a times b, LCM of a and b, and GCD of a and b, we want to somehow relate them together. And using the well-known fact, or just playing around, uh, we see that LCM of a b times the GCD of a b is equal to a b, a times b. And this is true because we can essentially make an argument considering the exponents in the prime factorization. The exponents in the prime factorization of the LCM of AB takes the highest exponents from the prime factorizations of A and B, while GCD of AB takes the lowest exponents. So when you multiply the highest and the lowest, that's the same as adding the two numbers together. And if you don't know how to prove it from there or don't understand that, then you can ask us down in the comments and we'll explain how. So using this fact, we can just let LCM AB be X and GCD AB be Y to shorten what we have. Then we have XY plus 63 is equal to 20X plus 12Y. And rearranging this equation gives that XY minus 20X minus 12y is equal to negative 63. Since the right-hand side is simply a constant and the left-hand side is a product of two numbers and then subtracted by a number times the first number and another number times the second number, we attempt to factor this in the form of x minus i times y minus j for constants y and j, well, i and j. And this is because the right-hand side is going to be uh, a product of two integers. And so if we factorize it, then we can reduce our search. So we have x minus i times y minus j is equal to negative 63 plus ij because we're essentially adding i times j to both sides because when, this, when you expand this out, you get xy minus iy minus jx plus ij. So you have to add ij to the right-hand side also. Comparing coefficients gives that x minus 12 times y minus 20 is equal to negative 63 plus 240, which is equal to 177. Factoring 177 gives us 3 times 59. And it, so now we have x minus 12 times y minus 20 is equal to 3 times 59. And since both of these are going to be integers, we just write out the factor of the 177. These are 1 and 177 and 3 and 59. So we do cases on what x is, and we can solve for y through that. And then we see how many solutions exist for each. And also, we note that the LCM of a and b, since it takes the highest exponents in the prime factorization, it's going to be a multiple of the GCD of a and b. So that will also help us with our search. And since it takes the highest uh, prime exponents, it will also be larger than y. So x will be larger than y. So we have x minus 12 equals 1. That gives x equals 13 and y minus 20 is 177. And that gives y equals 197. But that doesn't work because 13 is less than 197. Similarly, if we take x minus 12 equals 3 and y minus 20 equals 59, we won't have a solution. If we take x minus 12 equals 177, then y minus 20 equals 1. So we have a possible solution, x equals 189, and y is equal to 21. So we have the LCM of AB is equal to 189, and the GCD of AB is equal to 21. Since the GCD of AB equals 21, we can let A equals 21 A prime, since it has to be divisible by 21, and B equals 21 B prime. So all pairs A prime, B prime that satisfy this will also have solutions for A and B. 
So the LCM of 21A prime and 21B prime is equal to 21 times the LCM of A prime B prime, which is equal to 189. And since 189 is divisible by 21, 189 over 21 equals 9. So LCM of A prime B prime equals 9. And these yield only two solutions, A prime equals 9, B prime equals 1, or A prime equals 1 and B prime equals 9. And plugging this back in, we see A equals 189 and B equals 21, or A equals 21 and B equals 189. So we have two solutions here. Now our last case is to check X minus 12 is equal to 59 and Y minus 20 is equal to 3. That gives x equals 71 and y is equal to 23. This has to be a multiple of y because x is the LCM and y is the GCD. Using this, we see that 71 is not divisible by 23, so there aren't any solutions in this case. Totaling up our solutions, we only have two. And going back to the problem, we see that two corresponds to answer choice B, which is the correct answer. And we are